Hi, in this video we want to talk about mail merge. So when we have a document like this invitation, when we have to fill repeatedly uh, an address, a name or other fields, okay, imagine here that we have thousands and hundreds of uh, lines. So we have to do the same thing for, for each person. It's very easy to use mail merge. So in spite of writing uh, in every document, changing the address, changing the name uh, page by page, it's very easy, easy to use uh, LibreOffice. We have three steps. First is to create a database. After that, we register that database and we print uh, everything. First step is this, to have a database with uh, our data. In this case, a number, the name of the person and the address uh, where we want to send the invitation. Next step is to register the database. So we go to File, Wizards, um, Data Source Wizards. And from here, let's choose Other External Data Source. Let's click Next, Settings. From here, let's choose Spreadsheet because this is a spreadsheet here. Our database is a spreadsheet. Let's tell LibreOffice where is uh, this document located. It's in video and this is uh, our address. Let's click is this document. Let's test the connection. The connection was established successfully. Finish. Next, uh, our database will be named addresses and the same address book name will be addresses. Okay, I already created it before. I have the database. Now I can close this. The last step is to create uh, our document and to print it. This is a document. I close it. Now I have to remove these um, words here and to replace by fields. It's very easy. Let's see. Let's go to address and let's go to tools mail merge wizard next email message next let's select the address list addresses okay next and finish now uh, we can open that text from here data sources shift control f4 or from here view data sources shift control f4 okay the same thing. We open from here our database and we drag and drop uh, that title. So addresses here and name here. Dear space and uh, the name of the person. Let's uh, change the font color. And what we have, we have that number in order to for us to know what invitation number do we have. So in the footer, let's insert invitation number and let's drag and drop that number. Okay, that's all, very easy. Let's decrease the font because it's internally, it's not for the guest to read that, it's just for us to know what number uh, it invitation have. Let's go to file, print, Yes, and from here we want all. We want to print to a file. We can choose from single document or individual documents. Let's choose individual documents. And we want here to appear all the documents with uh, the name from numbers. And we want the path to be in this folder. Okay. And the file format, let's choose ODF. Okay, you can see all my invitation are created with just one click. So it's very, very easy to use. The first case is Joe from Frankfurt. So to Frankfurt, 34 bis, let's see the address here. Let's increase this field here. Okay, so it's Frankfurt 34, and it's Joe, and let's see the number of invitation, 
down there. It's invitation number one, okay? So this is this number. Let's check the second one. So should be Jane number two, Paris. So it's Paris, dear Jane, and number two. It's number two. So it's very easy to use um, when we, we have to do the same thing very quick. So we go to print and we printed all this document. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.